Good morning, wonderful Wright Wranglers. It's me, Miss Lott, your resident school counselor, bringing you the Wednesday news for today, April 28th, 2021. Before we continue, let's do the pledge and 30 seconds of silence. During the 30 seconds of silence, I like for you to think about how you feel when you have to take a test. Good day, Explorers! Broadcast Cal here with the Pledge of Allegiance. Everyone stand up and say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice job, everyone! Now get out there and explore, discover, and create. Broadcast Cal! Okay, Wranglers, please listen up because we have a lot of announcements, so many cool things going on at school. I will be resuming my lunch meetings with our virtual students starting tomorrow. We only have four more meetings for this school year. Please check your class dojo if you haven't been at the meetings before. Check your class dojo for the meeting link. First and second grade, we meet at 11.30. Third grade, we meet at 12 o'clock. And fourth and fifth graders, we meet at 12.30. Next week is Teacher Appreciation Week. You can show your appreciation for your teacher by participating in our Teacher Spirit Week. Monday is Teacher's Pet. Be the apple of your teacher's eye and wear animal print or maybe a shirt that has an animal printed on it, like a tiger or a dog or an owl. Who knows? Tuesday is Star Wars. May the 4th or force forever be strong with your teacher. You can represent your pride by dressing as your favorite Star Wars character or, again, a shirt that represents Star Wars. Wednesday is Step Right Up Day. You can wear your Step Right Up shirt, Be Kind shirt, or a Positive Sane shirt. Thursday is Teacher's Favorite Color. Do you know what your teacher's favorite color is? Well, if you do, wear it from head to toe. If you don't know, don't be afraid. Ask your teacher what their favorite color is and wear that color from head to toe. On Friday, it's Superhero Day. Show the hero in your class how much you appreciate them by dressing as your favorite superhero. Capes are optional. If you're counting down to the last day of this school year, we have, including today, 20 and a half days left. Let's finish strong and make these last days count. Next week will be the start of our standardized testing called ASPECs. Our third, fourth, and fifth graders we'll be taking a test for reading and for math. How do you feel when you're about to take a test? Do you feel confident or nervous? Do you feel calm or anxious? Do you feel, do you take it serious or treat it as a joke? Do you feel ready or unprepared? Hmm. I have taken a lot of tests throughout my life. I've taken t um, tests in school like you are. I took a test to get into college and throughout college. 
I took a test to get my driver's license as well as my license to be a school counselor. So unfortunately, boys and girls, we can't ignore taking a test. So let's put on our growth mindset and see what we need to do to be prepared. I'm sure you're aware of the do's and don'ts of taking a test, but what about when your thoughts are racing, your stomach is upset, and you just feel panicky? Chances are you're experiencing test anxiety. The good news is it sounds like you're taking it serious and you just want to do well on the test. Here are some strategies that you can try to help you feel better while taking the test. Number one, be prepared. The test is just to show what you know. So if you've been paying attention, taking notes, practicing your different skills, then you're ready. Number two, get a good night's rest. It's very hard to take a test when you're sleepy and can't concentrate. So make sure the night before a test, you go to bed at a decent time so that you can get at least eight hours of sleep. Number three, eat a nutritious breakfast. Man, I cannot concentrate if my stomach is growling and if I'm hungry and I'm just thinking about lunch. So make sure to have a nutritious breakfast before you take the test. Number four, have a positive mental attitude. If you go into the test like, oh, I don't know this information or, oh my God, I forgot everything, then you'll probably not do so well. So keep a positive mental attitude. Give yourself positive um, talk instead of negative talk, like you've got this, or I'm sure you know the answer to this one. Number five, read carefully. Take your time. You're not going to be graded on how fast you finish the test. So take your time. Read the questions carefully. Make sure you know what it's asking you to do. Do the problem, solve the problem, or answer the question, and then go back and check it. Take your time and read it carefully. Number six, don't pay attention to what others are doing. What someone is doing to your right or left is none of your concern. It's actually going to slow you down and distract you. So when you're taking your test, you just think about it's just you in the room, you in that test, and your focus is solely on doing your best. And finally, number seven, focus on calm breathing and positive thoughts. Sometimes when we're taking a test, like again, I said, our thoughts might be racing. Many things might be on our mind, but the only thing that needs to be on your mind at that time is how well you're going to do on the test. So if you feel your thoughts racing or you feel your stomach getting upset or your heart pounding really fast, you, it's very well okay for you to sit in your seat at that moment and take a few deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth and close your eyes and just bring um, your heart rate down. And again, while you're doing that, just giving yourself a positive reassurance that you're going to do your best. This has been another Guiding Right Moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for you to get your virtual or your face-to-face -face learning day started. I hope you have a wonderful day. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.